Let's simplify this expression, and here the fraction bar serves as a grouping symbol, so we'll simplify above and below the fraction bar separately. In the numerator, I have the absolute value of negative 6 plus 2. Let's evaluate the absolute value of negative 6. It is 6, and then I still have plus 2. Separately, we'll look at the denominator. This is subtraction. If you'd like, you can write it as the first number, 5, added to the opposite of the second number, 6, and the opposite of 6 is negative 6. And now let's continue to simplify. In the numerator, 6 plus 2 is 8. In the denominator, I'm adding two numbers with unlike or different signs. We subtract absolute values. 6 minus 5 is 1, and we keep the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. This number has the larger absolute value, and it is negative. Then we can simplify further. 8 divided by negative 1 is negative 8.